oil, wind, natural gas, these necessities power everything from the electric lights of Las Vegas to a simple light bulb. Welcome to the United States of America, more specifically the U.S. infrastructure. The United States is now the number one country producing oil, natural gas, and wind energy. In fact, in a recent speech made at North Carolina State University, President Obama said this in a quote. For the first time in nearly two decades, we produce more oil here in the United States than we buy from the rest of the world. Unquote. Now, what this means for the United States economy? Of concern is the fact that, that the vast, vast majority of, of energy that we use to tran for transportation comes from oil. So you guys came over in a car, car yeah, by gas planes, yes. yes. oil, right? Uh, airplane transportation, buses largely. I mean, the yeah. miles we travel are, are, are fueled by oil. And yeah. one of the concerns we have is on a daily basis, it doesn't have much of an impact, right? It's one of those things that everything's fine until it's not fine. as shown five years ago in San Bruno, California. There, a pipeline exploded and resulted in eight people losing their lives. And so you have to continue to make those investments in the future to ensure that you don't have you know, issues kind of going down the line. So. Uh, there are a lot of investments we need to make you know, in our transportation infrastructure and in our energy infrastructure. Uh, I mean, these things aren't they're not free. These are real investments that we make in, in our country. It may have very high standards from the people who the companies who are using are drill, who are drilling, and frankly, who are making all the money off of it. We need a lot more science on it, and that's what, of course, the Department of Energy is very concerned with, and the, and the EPA, of course, the Environmental Protection Agency, uh, are very concerned with this, so that we can you know, go forward and make sure we regulate the industry in such a way that we're producing this energy safely. I mean, it's certainly going to take a lot of money and a lot of time, frankly, but a really concerted effort. I mean, we need people who are on the public industry, the public sector, the, the, the political folks to say, hey, you know, this is a priority and we're going to move, we're going to push all these people together. People at the, the, the federal level, the state level, and the local level, everyone has to kind of cooperate and say, we're going to do this. So one of the things we have to do is create some alternatives. I mean, you, you have to have you know, everything from wind and solar, uh, battery-powered vehicles that come from electricity that might come from everything from wind and solar to clean coal. Um, different uh, different technologies that help you create different ways of, of, of transportation. Everything from biofuels to, you know, particularly nuclear energy that could contribute to the grid that mm -hmm. could help with uh, with uh, plug-in electric vehicles. Uh, so I mean, I think these things are sustainable, but we have to we have to give us all some options, right? Very large organizations and corporations, Walmarts, um, Ikea, um, Google, Apple, have made substantial investments in solar, panel, in solar power and alternative energy investments. I think they're doing that for a couple of reasons. Uh, so I think, it's, I think it's really twofold. They're hedging against future uh, fuel costs, and they're also feeling or fulfilling their economic or environmental obligation. You create jobs, the immediate jobs, but also long-term jobs. Um, we also are able to, uh, you know, to, to use to move the energy more efficiently, uh, which will actually save uh, the ratepayers and the, the users a lot of money uh, for, for years and years to come. So uh, again, I think it's definitely economic, and there's also um, you know eventually an even environmental benefit um, to upgrading the um, to, to, to continually investing in the infrastructure there. Listen up, America. Facts are facts. We have a D-minus energy rating. We need to fix it. The entire U.S. infrastructure isn't just something we can sweep under the rug. It needs to be dealt with. We're running on fumes. Let's do something about it before we run out of gas.